Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.sensi.us, where I'm Liz Quinn, your certified Scentsy consultant. So today, it's a little bit late in the month to do what I call my comparison video, but there's another thing that's running late this month, but this one's not my fault. My scent of the month kit is MIA, and it is, what, the 24th, the 25th? something like that and usually I get my kit by the 18th maybe the 19th and I don't even think that it's actually going to get delivered today or tomorrow so I apologize that that is probably going to go up in July because I'm going to go visit my brother for a couple of days so it is what it is anyway today I have for you my comparison series video for the month, which is about the sea and sand type smells. So first off, I have for you one of the most beautiful scents, and that is Sand Swept. This is a great smell for so many different spaces. In my Per Room series, I actually put it in the study because to me, it does come off as a rather serious smell, even though it is summery. So it has, uh, it's got lemon groves, it's got seaside air, and then it has a really interesting sandstone note, which is why sand swept just goes beautifully with the word sandstone. And I always think of this as a very grounded and stable smell. All right, another one, which is really, really nice, is Shoreline Drive. And so this one is a little bit more perfumey. It reminds me very much of those elegant little sachets that you put into your linens drawer. And it has like almost a sea mist. It has passion flower and it's got a beachy fresh air, but it is almost like clean, almost laundry-esque compared to most of the other just fresh scents that we have here in this basket. Another one, which is just so good, is Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. And this one is a very interesting sort of watery floater. I love it. So it's got pineapple, it's got almost like a, a bright turquoise tropical water sort of a scent and it's definitely a mood lifter and it's very relaxing all at the same time. Like being at the beach. All right, another one is your Daydream Oasis. This one is a little bit more green, so it's watery and green. And it's just mellow and really, really nice and it makes me think of a sunny day but not like crazy hot out on the water. Another one that is just beautiful is Iridescent Pearl. This is very gentle. Uh, my friend Robin H, her daughter calls this the mermaid scent, and that is the perfect description for it. It's got water lotus and apple blossom, and it's just, just a whisper of a smell. It's perfect for a bedroom. All right, another one is my favorite, White Sands. This is so elegant. Put a bunch of this in a warmer, go sit in your sunroom, rock in the rocker, watch the birds. It's just relaxing summer perfection with like jasmine and rice milk and smooth whisperiness. Another one that I really like, and we have got to vote this back, have one cube left, sea, sun, and fun. Reminds me of a bunch of very happy small children, totally lathered up with sunscreen, building sandcastles at the beach. It is so happy. Oh, it's so good. We've got to get that back. It's been gone for a long time. The next one is the beautiful Atlantic Air. Now this is definitely sea. Smooth, relaxing, kind of salty sea air with orchid to make it so elegant and soft. All right, now out of this whole basket, except for sea, sun, and fun, I'm probably the saddest to melt the last cubes of this one. This is called Waves and Wonders. This is a slightly more earthy, beachy scent. I could have clubbed this a couple years ago and I just thought, you know, I'm not gonna go through enough bars, but now that I'm down to those last few cubes, it's so sad. It has cypress and then it has like driftwood and a little bit of oceany air, but it's deeper. Oh, I love this smell. So I should probably just do myself a favor and melt all of this in one day and enjoy it and get it over with, but I would love to have more waves and wonders down the road. Another one, which this is several years old summer collection, Endless Sea. Oh, and if I had any, I would put Driftwood Bay in this, this uh, group here. I just don't have any anymore. This is so nice. So this has like sailcloth and linen. So it almost feels a little bit like you're on a boat. 
and then it has lots of wateriness. I really enjoyed this. I thought it was unique. It was in the summer collection with Driftwood Bay, and then at the same time, they had gone camping and toasted marshmallow, which obviously, you know, they're not going to be in this box, but this is gorgeous, and I am sad that I will have no more by the end of this summer. By the Sea. Total classic, but you have to put it in a sea and sand box. It's just so good. Oh, talk about it all the time, but it's just a summer classic. So it's got the salty sea air and the dewy seagrass, and it's just fabulous. All right, the beautiful Bonfire Beach, because now we have gotten off the boat. We're off of the cliffs, enjoying the sea spray. Now we're going to go have a nice little quiet bonfire on the sand and watch this sun set over the sea. Mm. So you got to get out those marshmallows. You have your cute little fire. It is starting to smolder and you're getting little uh, washes of sea spray. Perfect. Oh yeah. And your kid found a whole bunch of beautiful flat rocks and stacked them all. So that's the, the rock note that's in here. Because really and truly, I have done a lot of walking along the Lake Michigan beaches here in Michigan. There is a smell to those rocks and that sand that is so unique and lovely. And then also I've been to Lake Superior and that is the mightiest, almost scary Great Lake. It is so, so huge and vast and powerful. So we have rocks, I don't have any right here, but that are so smooth from the power of Lake Superior. They look different than Lake Michigan rocks. And again, you get those wet and they have a scent. And it reminds me of some of these different things in these bars here. All right, now we move on to the sandy side. So Rio Beach is my favorite sand smell. So this one is like all the suntan lotion and maybe a really nice coconut drink. And it's got tonka bean. Mm, it is so good. So I will probably melt this in July. I've got this in a couple cubes left and I probably won't get through the whole bar because I want to save a little bit more for next year. But oh man, is this good. It's just warm. It's warm and beachy and gorgeous. All right. Now Havana Cabana is for all those amazing poolside drinks when you go either to the beach or, you know, when I was a kid, we did a lot of the like water slide wave pool parks. So if you had yourself a nice little drink and you were sitting in your lounge chair watching everybody pretend to surf on the waves that the pool was generating, I think Havana Cabana goes pretty well with that kind of thing. So it's just pineapple and banana and oranges and berries and it's happy. It's kind of light. It's really, really good. All right, another one that I just had to put in here because it is so summery and it's more if you're on the beach, but you're in an area where it then goes into all of your sand dunes, and then that eventually goes to sort of a jungly tangle of stuff. Paradise petals would be really good for any flowers you might find in there, especially if you move down the coast into the tropics. And then an orange tree. I don't know if orange trees can grow on the beach, but let's just pretend the orange tree grows on the beach and all that stuff is together and you get paradise petals. This is the loveliest bar and it is most definitely summery and it smells like it should be close to a beachy area to me. All right, then we have one that is such a good bar and I put it in here more for the name. Pacific Sandalwood, which I tend to hoard and not melt so you don't really see it in my What I've Been Warming videos. This is so good. It is so unique, hard to describe. So it's got sandalwood, it has a little bit of this, this gentle woody depth, but it's not like, not like your blonde moon, wood and moonflower, not like the really woody stuff that you get in the fall. It's subtle and it's super sophisticated and it's floaty and it's got almost like this marshmallowiness on top. It would be great in the summertime if I wasn't so stingy. I need to just melt this. Linda gave me this one. So now I have like one and a half. I just need to melt it. All right. And then white amber antique. This is so good. So this is like sitting on a very nice porch of one of those houses that you'd probably see in a movie looking out over the ocean. And the people at the table, especially the gentlemen, have very good taste in cologne. And this is the most wonderful summer woods with a little bit maybe of some lavender or some other kind of shaving cream, cologne but light and summery notes. Great bar. One of my new loves. 
right? And then I love Palo Santo, which is for all the people who love a good bonfire or they like their fire in their fire pit in the summertime. This is just oh, such good woody smoky toastiness. I love this bar and it definitely reminds me of being around a bonfire, but in a tasteful way. It's different than around the campfire, which feels fall and winter. This one feels summer. So that's great. And then last but not, whoops, last but not least, because any of these times where we're out doing sea and sand and all that, you gotta have something creamy and tropical. Good old pina colada cha cha for your summer drink. Pineapple and coconut and rum is so good. So that's my little tour of the comparison of all the things that I have that Sensi has produced that puts you in a summer mood to go out on the waves or go out on the beach. So for July, either we need to do all of the tropical scents or I was thinking it would be fun to do like a summer garden. All the things that I can come up with. I still have a few cubes of tomato vine where we could do all the things where if you were walking through a garden in the heat of summer, you would smell it. So. Uh, let me know for votes, tropical or summer garden. Love you all guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.